much about Nityananda's life remains unclear. Stories abound that put him in different places at the same time, resulting in considerable confusion about his true age or background. Not unexpectedly, his devotees listened carefully for clues or details because occasionally in casual conversation Nityananda would touch upon some incident from his past. However, he always cut short attempts to obtain details and admonished those who persisted. Some recall him making passing references to visiting Ceylon and Singapore while others say he displayed an intimate knowledge of the Himalayan region. Even his name holds a mystery. Stories of his childhood relate that his adoptive mother called him Ram. Nityananda means eternal bliss and was used to describe the state of mind he inspired. To a devotee who sat before him ecstatically repeating Nityanand, Nityanand as a mantra, he said, it is not a name it is a state. His mighty spiritual force filled the South Kanara district for a few years and then moved on the Kanhangad, Gokarn and Vajrishwari. Before leaving South Kanara, around 1925 Nityananda began spending long periods in Kanhangad. Initially, he chose the jungle area called Guruvana for his rock ashram. Evidence indicates that he inhabited a certain jungle cave where he had discovered a skeleton seated in a lotus position, surrounded by pots and other personal effects. Nityananda is said to have disposed of it in an unknown manner. This story came from an elderly woman in Kerala who fed Nityananda during this time. She also said that at the rear of the cave was once an entrance, now blocked off, to a hall that could seat several hundred people. Nityananda often said that beyond the hill in Guruvana were many saints in Samadhi. Some people believe he was associated with this particular spot in a previous incarnation and the skeleton was either his own or of someone he knew.